Hey guys, welcome back to K-Popish. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to my channel to be updated in the K-pop world. Elki Chong, a singer and actress from Hong Kong, debuted as a member of the Cube Entertainment girl group CLC in February 2016. Though CLC had already made their debut as a five-member lineup back in 2015, Elki was added to the group along with Unbin a year later. Fans of the group have frequently called out Cube Entertainment for their mismanagement of the girl group. By the end of December 2020, Elki reportedly gave notice to Cube Entertainment through a law firm located in Beijing regarding the termination of her contract with the agency. The letter is said to describe that the company violated terms including payment of her earnings as well as the agency not providing support for CLC's activities while also not giving a plan for Elki's activities. The letter went on to state that if the agency does not accept the termination, legal channels will be taken to protect the artist's right and interests. Following this news, Elki posted a long letter on Instagram addressing her fans where she thanked them for giving her constant strength and love. She also thanked her group members who she referred to as family. On February 3rd of this year, Cube released an official statement confirming Elki's departure from the agency and the group CLC. Elki recently revealed the actual reason for her departure from Cube Entertainment and CLC in an exclusive interview with Ming Pao, a Hong Kong newspaper. She said that though she worked extremely hard, people would mock her. Although she did not claim to have been discriminated against, she did admit that she was given fewer opportunities than Koreans. She explained that in her early days of debut, a music producer called her really dumb and totally useless, which upset her. She claimed that the most extreme incident was when she was unable to sleep for several days and could not even remove her makeup. She once had a dance practice session that lasted 16 hours straight from noon to late at night. She walked like a zombie because of how tired she was. She also mentioned that Cube Entertainment was not providing CLC with sufficient resources, resulting in less than stellar performances. Elki specifically refers to the CLC girls being robbed of an opportunity by giving away the song Love and Rose to Eyes One. CLC had already recorded the song and had even prepared the dance for it. However, the song was given away to Eyes One. The song ranked high on Korean charts, won music shows, and was well received by the public. Something that CLC could have experienced had it not been given away. She felt disappointed as she thought the agency took away too many opportunities from them. CLC did not have releases frequently. Sometimes it took a year to have a new song or album. When the agency said they will not give CLC any resources, I thought there was no point for me to stay. As an artist, I just wanted to meet with fans through my works. However, she did mention that she still keeps in touch with the other CLC members and that they have a strong bond. Fans believe that CLC has always been put at the back seat, not getting enough comebacks, promotions or exposure. The group doesn't have their own light stick or official colors despite having debuted 6 years ago. They have never gotten a chance to go on a world tour despite having a sizable international fan base. While newer girl group G Idol had announced dates for a US tour which did not go through due to the ongoing pandemic. But unfortunately, the numbers speak a different truth. CLC's total album sales since debut adds up to around 70,000. which is not enough for a company to put more money into the girls unfortunately never reached the kind of success an agency hopes for when debuting a group and that's all for this video if you like my videos make sure you hit that subscribe button and do not forget to press a like also leave your thoughts in the comment section below thanks for watching